You ready for the next step? Let's do this. Now that we got security to man good neighbor's sniper perches, the next step is to keep those boys armed. You've probably noticed ammunition isn't exactly a renewable resource these days, but I've got a workaround. There's a gunner facility outside Mass Bay Medical they use to manufacture ammo. The intel I've got says the facility isn't particularly well guarded, so we can kill two birds with one stone, take out a gunner outpost, and provide Good Neighbor the means to make their own ammo. Yeah. I'm in. What's the plan? I'm gonna tag along with you on this one. The entrance to the place isn't exactly in plain sight. And besides, never hurts to have backup. Let me know when you're ready to head out. Hi. How's it going? Nothing else I needed. You got it. I just clean up around here. Nice shooting. You still in one piece? Just another walk in the park. Let's get this equipment back to Hancock. Then I'm gonna hit the third rail for a bit. You're welcome to join me. Excuse me. Something I can help with? I have some information you might want. Hey, old pal. Got some good news. We managed to round up some ammo manufacturing equipment from the gunner outpost over at Mass Bay Medical. 
The neighborhood watch should rest a bit easier knowing they aren't shooting blanks. Then here's to a long road with plenty of ammo. We do have enough ammo, right? Uh, yeah, once we get the manufacturing equipment up and running. Most of the credit for the job belongs to our new friend here. Pleasure was all mine. You don't know how happy that makes me. Good neighbor's just a bit safer thanks to the two of you. So, with that out of the way, you feel like grabbing a drink with us at the third rail to celebrate? Don't have time to chat. Mayoral duties and all that bull. But we'll talk again. I wouldn't recommend drinking from anything you find around here. Not to mention the smell. Hey, you got something against good neighbor's bars all of a sudden? Speaking of which, you remember that time at the third rail when you were so drunk you tried to give CPR to a mannequin? Yeah, of course. I remember that. That's funny, because I don't. So why don't you tell me who the fuck you really are? What are you trying to say? Show some damn respect. Hancock's got enough self-esteem, he wouldn't pretend to remember non-existent events just to appease someone. And he sure as hell wouldn't be talking shit about his own town much less refusing to break bread with friends. So answer my question. Who are you? What the hell is going on here? So, you gonna enlighten me here? You take one too many blows to the skull, or you just acting like this for fun? Calling it like I see it, stranger. Where's Hancock? And how long ago did you replace him? You got about two seconds to come clean. Whoa, 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 time out. You aren't talking sense. No one gets replaced in my town. Commonwealth's full enough of trouble as it is. Doesn't need you making any more of it. All right, prove it then. The last joke Hancock told me starts like this. A ghoul walks into a bar. The bartender says, we don't serve ghouls here. What does the ghoul say? I don't know. What was it again? Was I on something at the time? Wrong answer. Time to get a better look inside that head of yours. You wanna try me? <laughs> what? <laughs> and that's all she wrote. <clears throat> Let me guess. You found a synth component, right? I'm still in shock. The mannerisms gave him away. Sarcasm's a tough personality trait for a synth to imitate. My bullshit detector went off as soon as he started talking. First time I've ever encountered a ghoul synth, though. Speaking of which, we gotta find out what happened to the real Hancock. Help me search around for any clues. Lucky the mayor likes outsiders. Peace, sister. Yes. Excuse me. You find any clues? I found this note. Here. Alright, let's see here. Okay, so Madonna's a synth. No surprise there. This paragraph makes reference to a parking structure. Seems like an odd place to keep a prisoner. Unless... Shit. If my hunch is right, this ain't good. Come on, we're taking a field trip over to West Roxbury.
remain undetected for long. Someone present. Here comes my kind of trouble. Not a bad way to make an entrance. How did you end up in there? I don't know. You ever wonder if maybe you're a synth and don't know it? I got a lot of time I can't account for. Tell me a joke. So a ghoul walks into a bar. Bartender says, we don't serve ghouls here. Ghoul says, that's fine. Is the human fresh? Yeah, that's definitely the right guy. Good to see you again, old buddy. You gonna be all right? Not my first time ending up next to a trash heap. Won't be my last. Let's focus on what's next. So, Hancock, to bring you up to speed, we've been busy. Morawski's dead, the trigger men are under control, Hotel Rexford is being renovated, and the Neighborhood Watch is now manning the sniper perches. We've got ammo manufacturing capability, and most of the random hoodlums infesting Good Neighbor are taking dirt naps. We managed to kill the synth the Institute tried to replace you with, but... I got some bad news about your brother McDonough. So the Institute replaced him with a synth after all. How many years was I angry at that bastard for the wrong reasons? I understand how you feel. I lost someone too. Was always told I'd hit rock bottom. Not sure this is what they meant. Was the guy I grew up with the amoral piece of trash who gave the ghouls the boot? Or was that just some synth making a play for the city? I don't know what to say. You never know when your family's gonna be taken from you. When I'd first heard the rumors he'd been swapped for a synth, thinking back on that night, I thought it made a lot of sense. All the pain, the fear, the loss the Institute's inflicted. Time we return the favor. Sounds good to me. Let's think about this for a second. The way I see it, we respond in kind. No more, no less. The Institute tried to take out our guy in Good Neighbor, so we take out their guy in Diamond City. Smart. Sometimes you just gotta murder a guy. Though I'm getting the distinct idea you got the same plan. How do we do this without raising suspicion? Let's start with what we know. First, McDonough's a synth. Second, he's not a particularly popular mayor outside the upper stands. And third, if the Institute was sending couriers to check up on Hancock's synth, odds are they're probably doing the same with McDonough. Where are you going with this? We can't barge into Diamond City, guns blazing. Security would have a field day with us. The only way this works 
is if we can get the Diamond City Council, the security forces, and the general population on our side. If we show them irrefutable proof that Madonna is a synth who's actively spying for the Institute, they're more likely to look the other way when we kill him. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. Could you be more specific? If you pose as an Institute courier sent by this IO guy, we might get McDonough to slip up and confess. Specifically, you take an audio recorder with you and pretend you're there to collect a report. Get McDonough alone in his office so he thinks he can open up. Then record him admitting to being a synth and working for the Institute. Once you've got the recording, shoot the motherfucker. Show the recording to someone on the Diamond City Council and they can take it from there. Hey, if I thought for a second that would work, I would have tried. Yeah, but our friend here isn't a ghoul. That gives this plan at least a fighting chance. Besides, you got a better idea? Well, I... Uh, I guess you got a good point. So I can just head in and talk to McDonough? If you can sell being an Institute courier, that's exactly what I'm saying. Good neighbor would rest a whole lot easier with him out of the picture. Just reference I.O. and some confidential info about Synths from that letter. Hopefully that's enough to get you in. I'll give you the recorder, too. Put it in your pocket and try to stand close to McDonough when he's talking. I'm ready to get to work. I like where your head's at. I'll head for home, then. Good luck. I'm gonna tag along with Hancock. I'll meet you back at the State House in Good Neighbor when it's done. And thanks again, friend. <laughs>